it's cool here. With the intention to claim the throne as his own, and therefore urge the Lord Buddha to move away. But the Great One remained steadfast, saying, The possession of the throne was indeed testimony to his long meritorious past. Unwilling to accept the Lord Buddha's words, Mara demanded a witness for confirmation. The Great One thus pointed to the earth with his right hand and called Mother Earth as his witness. Rising from the ground, she testified to the Great One's innumerable meritorious deeds in the past. Thereby, bringing water collecting in her hair every time the Great One poured it in the ground to signify each of his meritorious deeds. The water wrung from the goddess's hair raised a torrential flood that drowned Mara and his army of demons. Before disappearing altogether, Mara made obeisance to the Lord Buddha as Mara conceded his defeat. The story is intended as a metaphor whereby the Lord Buddha's victory over the evil Mara symbolizes the state of imperturbability by all earthly pleasures and temptations, which constitutes a crucial process prior to the attainment of enlightenment occurring the following morning.